story called The Teacher from the Black Lagoon. I think you're really going to like this one. I hear Mrs. Mr. Smith has a dandruff and warts, and Mrs. Jones has a whip and a wig. But Mr. Green is supposed to be a real monster. Christian, please stop doing that. Please go move your clip down right now. Oh. You're making bad choices. you agreed to meet with me today. I just wanted to talk about Chris's performance on his spelling tests. He just doesn't seem to be getting his words and he needs a little bit of extra support and motivation so that when we are practicing our spelling in class, he tries a little bit harder. So I would like to set up an academic contract with both of you and I think that it'll really work. So what I'm thinking, and let me know if you have suggestions too, is that for every 80 or above Chris gets on his spelling tests, he gets 20 minutes of iPad time at the end of the day. Does that sound like something you'd like to do, Chris? Great, so if you and your mom are up to it, I'll sign my part. And then Chris, you can sign there. And you can sign there, Janice. Okay, let's do another example. Here's our 10 frame right here. And we know that's worth how many, Chris? Good. So what would happen if we covered up five, half of our 10 frame? What do you think, how many would we have, Eric? Five. Five, good. Now, Eric, what would happen if I uncovered two more pieces of our 10 frame? We have seven. Seven, and how do you know that? Five plus two is seven. Good. So, boys, now we've learned how to perform addition problems using our 10 frame that has an addend of five and an addend of another number. So, now that we're done with math for the day, we've been sitting an awfully long time, so before we move on to writing, we're gonna have you stand up and we're gonna have our brain break, okay? Let's put your mm -hmm. arms up. And down, five, four, three, two, one. Arm circles back, arm circles forward. Repeat after me, one, two, three, I am ready to learn. I am ready to learn. Instead of jumping into academic content, we could play a little icebreaker game to get to know each other. So what we're going to do is you're going to say your name and then an animal that begins with your name. So I'll go first. My name is Miss B and I like bats. Okay, Eric, you have to say what I said for an animal in my name and then you get to go. Give it a try. Your name is Miss B and you like bats. My name is Eric and I like elephants. Great. All right, Chris, here's a challenge. You have to say what I said, then what Eric said, and then you have a turn. Well, you're Miss B and you like bats. He's Eric and he likes elephants. And I'm Chris and I like cats. Great job. I think that was a great way to get to know each other. So now we're going to go over our expectations that we have of each other. First of all, my expectations for you guys as first grade students is try your hardest, be respectful, and never give up. Do you guys have any expectations that you might have of me and would like me to follow? Christian, what do you think? Always be encouraging. That's a great one. Always be encouraging. And hand down, we'll get to you in a minute, Eric. 
always be encouraging. All right, Eric, what was yours? Have patience. That's a good one. Have patience. Now, our classroom community can really work to build a positive relationship by following each other's expectations. Oh look, Chris, there's your mom now. Why don't you go play out in the playground so we can have a little catch-up time? Hi, Mrs. Smith. I just want to let you know that Chris is doing a really good job. He even got a 90 on his spelling test today and got his extra iPad time. I think that academic contract that we worked out is really helping him. That's good to hear. Thank you.